It's 10 p.m. this Monday evening. Hello, I'm Dawn Tan. I'm John Leong. You're watching Singapore Tonight. Here are your top stories. More than $250 million spent on the high-speed rail project and costs continue to mount. But there's still no official word from Malaysia on whether it's pulling out. Malaysia, nor Singapore, can unilaterally change the terms of agreement. The Foreign Affairs Minister stresses that both sides must resolve disputes peacefully in accordance with international laws. Four more boys rescued from a flooded cave in Thailand. Eight have now emerged as a complex rescue operation enters the second day. It's a two-hour Singapore tonight as we continue our coverage of the Thai cave rescue. Also ahead on tonight's show, even as public transport goes digital, people must remain at the heart of it. We'll tell you why that's the theme of the third Singapore International Transport Congress and exhibition that's held as part of the World City Summit for the first time. Sarah Alcoli has the business news and a tourism-related tax has been expanded. Well, John, more businesses that profit from major tourism events could have to pay taxes after changes to the tourism event tax were passed today. Singapore has incurred over 250 million Singapore dollars for the Kuala Lumpur Singapore High Speed Rail Project as at end May this year, and it expects to spend another 52 million Singapore dollars by December. Transport Minister Corbyn Wan revealed this when he told Parliament that Singapore had sent a diplomatic note to Malaysia in June, asking it to clarify its position on the matter. But as Malaysia has yet to officially reply on terminating the project, Singapore, well, it's going to have to continue to abide by the HSR bilateral agreement and thus continue to incur cost. Elizabeth Nyo with more. 